Lynn Tamber from the Bank of America Tower YMCA. Today I'm going to do an exercise circuit. You need a chair and water bottles or any weights that you have around the house. Um, six exercises. I suggest you repeating this circuit two more additional times, so three total. Um, I'm going to do it once for you just so you've got a quick 10 minute video if you want to just squeeze it in. All right, the first thing we're going to do is uh, chair squats. You're going to grab your weight, hold it in front of you, feet are hip distance apart. We're squatting down to our bottom touches the chair. We don't want to put any weight on it. And then squeezing, coming back up. So we got 25 of these. Ready? Go. more. The chair makes sure we're getting to that low squat. And last one. All right, next we're doing tricep dips, hitting those arms. So, for tricep dips, we're going to have your fingers facing forward. Elbows facing towards the wall and back of you. You're going to lift yourself up off the chair. You can have your feet uh, just planted on the ground, your knees bent, or you can have them straight out, whatever you prefer. And you're going to dip down, making sure that back slides against the end of the chair. That's going to make sure we're really targeting those triceps during this exercise. We have our back going straight up and down against the chair, okay? So we got 25 of these as well. Ready? Come on off the chair and go. That's 10. We got 15 more. Make sure those elbows stay pointing back. more. And last one. Great job. Next we're going to do what is called a split squat. So I'm going to grab my water bottles for this. Split squat. You're going to take a big step away from the chair. Then take one foot back on the chair. Just kind of rest the top of the foot on top. Um, when you come down to squat, you want to make sure that knee stays behind that front toe and that your weight is centered over your hips. You don't want to be leaning too far forward or backward. Just center that weight right over the hips. And then we're just squatting straight down and coming back up, okay? We got 15 per leg on this exercise. Ready? Let's go. Switching legs. Just replace that foot in the front. Have the other foot go back and go. And last one. All right, shake out those legs. Exercise difficult, hard on the balance. Next, we're going to do some hip hinges. You can keep one of the water bottles. So, for a hip hinge, I'm going to have you come down, put your shoulder blades on the chair. You're going to take the water bottle, put it across your hips, and be in this. 
45, uh, 90 degree angle with those hips. What you're going to do is drive up through the heels, make a tabletop position, and come back down. So that's going to work the glutes and the hamstrings, back side of your legs, as well as uh, the low back, okay? So we got 25 of these. Ready? Go. Squeezing at the top and holding it there for just a second. Make sure you're keeping those knees together. We got ten more. And last one. All right. Next, we're doing a push up on the chair. It's an incline push up. Let's go. If your chair has handles, you can put it on the handles. If not, you can just put it on the edge of the chair. Uh, hands are going to be about shoulder width apart. Feet are going to go back, hip distance apart. Make sure they're far enough back that you can have a neutral spine. No dipping of the hips or tenting, just nice neutral spine. We got 15 push ups. Ready? Go. Five more. And last one. All right, last exercise. Mountain climbers on the chair. Hands are going to be in the same position. Uh, back's going to be flat, just like we were. Same push-up position we were just in. What you're going to do is work on driving those knees up towards, towards the chair as close as you can get, as quickly as you can. So we got 25 of these, 25 per leg, so 50 total. So come out to that high push-up position and go, drive those knees up. We got 10 more. All right, great job today, guys. Then you can repeat that circuit again four or three times is what I suggest. Thank you guys for working out with me and have a good one.